So this will just be a vlog of daily life stuff and taking care of business. I think the thing that a lot of folks don't realize is I've just got a normal life. You know, I get up every day, I go to work, I come home and I primarily do this. So my day probably starts at about five and ends right around midnight and I just kind of rinse and repeat so um, so far today I have cleaned up a little bit I've loaded E85 tune on here I'm about to go flash it in a second um, I normally take whatever leftover time I have to catch up on shows uh, and then I go to work so let's go ahead and continue with what we've got going on this morning and then we'll talk a little bit so Come on, let's go. sure we get everything done for the day here so a lot of you don't really know what it is that I do for a living so I'll tell you what I do but I can't tell you who it's for because copyrights so basically I'm the assistant who helps train all of the financial representatives and then the second part of my job is to uh, I help another advisor put together investment portfolios so it's pretty cool um, I have a Series 7, Series 63, Series 66, and a, a life and health annuity license called the 215. And all that really says is that I can legally give people advice on financial investment portfolios as well as insurance products. And I don't work with like auto insurance, but I do work with uh, like life insurance, annuities, things like that. Seems pretty boring, but it's actually pretty cool. Uh, you know, when when we put together things for clients, it really does change their life. So I, I enjoy it a, a lot, and it's all I've ever done. I've never, you know, I worked any other sort of career or done anything else. I've been doing this since I was. A, I, I celebrated my 21st birthday at my first internship, so and I'm 27 now. So it's it, I really like it. It's it's probably what I will do at in some way, shape, or fashion for the rest of my life. Um, why did I pick that career? It's simple. I like people, 
and people at some point in their lives will need some sort of financial advice. So it gives me an opportunity to be in front of people as well as satisfy that part of my personality that really loves being analytical. So I enjoy it. But enough about that. Uh, let's go in and help people out today. It is lunchtime, and since it's a Tuesday, the only proper way to have lunch is tacos. So I'm gonna go right across the street to like my third or fourth favorite taco place, which is Tijuana Flats. Let's go. So interesting topic came up recently with uh, not really a coworker, but just someone that works at the same company as me. And uh, it was the topic of my race. And believe it or not, even in these days, this is something that is still not an issue, but a, again, a topic of discussion. And uh, literal response was, wow, I had no idea that you were black. And as obvious as that may seem to some people, for a variety of reasons, it's not obvious to everyone. But just from my perspective, I bet you're probably wondering, like, do I get offended? And honestly, it really depends. Um, I think it really depends on why it's such a shock. Um, you know, with with the way society is, it, well, with the way society functions lately, people all over the place are mixed. You know, it's not just minorities or or, or, or anything like that. So, it, it, I'm not like really shocked when people are are shocked by the fact that I'm in fact black. Uh, a lot of times it's just based on association. So because I live in Florida, there are a ton of Hispanic people that live here as well. So a lot of my friends and even my wife included are Hispanic, you know, and I can understand Spanish pretty well and I enjoy Spanish cuisine and things like that. So I could understand how that would be surprising based on the fact of just association. But when it comes to things like, oh, well, you know, you just speak so well. These are things actually, people have actually said to me. Oh, you speak so well, or oh, you're into cars. That's not normally something that black people like to do. Or uh, you seem to just have it all together. You know, you've got a good job. And I'm just like, really? Like, it's almost like that sort of thing is not normally expected for black people. And I mean, I would tend to disagree. I mean, whenever you're a minority to begin with, you're gonna have less of that particular minority in wherever you're working because there's just less of that particular social group of people. But, you know, to say that you're surprised because I have a good job and I'm black, well, that's offensive, you know? It's like, okay, what were you expecting? You know, what, what'd you think I'd be doing? So. Yeah, I mean, does it happen? Sure. But, I mean, I, I, I think that we still have a long way to go from the standpoint of, like, you know, especially in a lot of work that I do, of not being shocked when you find out that, oh my God, he's black. Yes, people, I'm black. And uh, from the standpoint of what I can and can't do as regards to my heritage, like that's very very small minded so don't think that way um so anyway that's all i gotta say about that um does it is it probably still gonna come even after this i mean probably but you know it, it's just kind of ridiculous that you get put in such a small box for being a minority um you would think that even after the president of the united states won two terms and is black that this would not be as much of a shock but lo and behold it still is and um, like I said, we just still got a little bit of ways to go before it's completely socially acceptable or socially expected, I should say. But anyway, off of that and on to tacos.
office. I've got a little over an hour and a half to finish up a case as well as some training and development stuff before two o'clock. So I got a lot of work to do. I'm really not even taking a lunch. This is like a like a working lunch. So um, I just hope I can get all this done. We'll see. All right, folks, it's been a long day. Work got squared away. Appointment got squared away. Grocery shopping got squared away. Now I'm just ready to go home. Um, I was gonna get some logs done for the new map, but as you can see, I don't know if you can tell, uh, it's looking like it is about to rain. So, won't be getting any logs done this evening. I've still got at least a 45 minute drive home with traffic. So we'll get logs done tomorrow and I'll make sure to give you guys some footage of that. Either way, thanks for tuning in. I hope you guys enjoyed this. Remember what I always say, no matter what you've done in your past, your future spotless. Peace.